Hey, ladies and gents, this is Izda Wiz here um, at Four Horsemen Toy Design Studios, and I'm going to take a look at some of the test shots for Cosmic Legions that are here. And oh, they, I just have to say that they are mind blowingly cool um, because they don't have paint yet. It's hard to tell like exactly who is who, what configuration. Um, but you can see all the articulation is there, all the detail is there, uh, get an idea of, as to how they move and how they fit in hand. Um, this line is all about endless possibilities, and there are some things in here that, um, you know, they just really, really, uh, appeal to me. I really like the, the helmets, it's a very, very clear plastic there. And because you can see, you can easily remove the helmet. Well, you can easily remove the helmet. <laughs> and then you get a different look. Um, so what I like about this particular figure is that there's a second sort of clear plexiglass shield on the head and then inside you can see like some you know mechanical elements um maybe a an eye or a sensor so it's kind of like a a cyclops um looking whether it's a robot or a human in armor or an alien in armor um that's up to you Depends on how you want to play with them. Here's the uh, gun, which plugs into the porthole on the utility belt really well. And so you can also test. Um, well, this doesn't have the the gun gripping hands, but um, you know I like how these ports are configured on the arms and on the belts and you can use them to attach weapons. You can use them to attach, um, for example, communication devices and other accessories. You can use them to attach tubes. So um, that's this uh, character, that test shot. I just want to say that the, the, the um, joints feel really tight. The range of motion is really good, especially for an armored character. And the heft, and the center of gravity and everything about this is just um, feels really really good to articulate really really good to touch and hold and so that's the main thing you know the last thing you want to see when you get a test shot and these are works in progress is something that's floppy or something that won't stand or something that won't hold a pose or something that'll fall apart when you touch it um you know, and oh, well, this one fell down, but obviously, um, I'm spinning it around, and these this is not this is not done. But um, let me show you what else. These are pretty good. They're not final or anything. Here's another character, another armored character, um, and which is very similar to this, but you can see in the front. The port has changed, so that provides a different look. So a completely different look there on the chest. And it's kind of amazing how you pop and you swap a different, um, for example, chest accessory, and it changes the whole look of the character. This also has that sort of Cyclops um, one mechanical eye there in the middle um, and this clear uh, sort of visor over it but it's a bigger head and a different configuration. But so kind of like, you know, variations on a theme for these soldiers or guards or, you know, whatever the bio is gonna end up saying that they are. Um, so that's, there's that one. And then we have a female character. Um, this was holding this sort of stun weapon and, uh, at, because these are test shots and because people have been playing with these uh, all during G-Con and 
you know, through Legion's Con and after Legion's Con. I don't know if this is going to come with this particular accessory or it's going to be configured that way or it's going to have this particular weapon, but it just gives you a sense for um, what these are, how they're going to look and some of the details. Look at this. This is really cool. Another plugged into a port. It's like a wrist blaster. Then another gun here. What I did notice is that it's awesome how the guns and the rifles um, are engineered and designed so that they can be held in natural poses. It's very hard to ha get a, a figure like this holding like a sniper rifle, a laser rifle, and to have it look good and to have it look natural. But the one thing I did notice about these test shots is that these figures can indeed do that. Um, I like the weight of the figure. I like the way it moves. I like the way it stands. And this is another one with that sort of helmet with the visor, but obviously a female member of the army. Um, here is, uh, I think this is a thigh gar, but it's, it's armored up and configured in such a way um, that it also has that visor and helmet. Very sleek, sophisticated, and obviously futuristic. Um, it's got the alien legs, which are great for standing. Look at how nicely it holds that blaster, right? How perfectly that trigger finger fits in there. And then I think it's going to be really cool when you have the, um, what do you call it? Like, you know, wires or, or pipes or tubing going from the, uh, um, arm gauntlet to the blaster. Uh, I like these alien hands. They don't have five fingers, which is awesome. And um, just everything about these is cool. The range of motion on the head, how it can look up, hold a pose, um, you know, um, one foot, two feet. Um, these are going to be really, really super fun to play with. And then pop and swap. And here's a Here's a um, test shot Thigar had. So hopefully that's in focus there. But just see the beautiful detail on that. I really love it. It's like an alien. I mean, it could be like a demon. It's not a powered up one. There's something noble about it and heroic, even though, you know, if you saw this guy in real life, it would probably be be terrifying, but that's what's so great about aliens is that they're alien. Funny how that works. So, these two horns. Um, let me see here. Thigar with the bear chest. Oh, like Thigar. Here he is with some different hands. Uh, with uh, different fingers and the sort of reptilian alien legs. There you go. And some sort of staff. You can see the discs in there are red plastic. I guess when they run test shots, they just put whatever plastic happens to be on hand. So that's why sometimes you'll see them in different colors. And this is gray, sort of olive green white, um, but it's, it's also really nice to look at these test shots because you can really see the detail when the paint's not there. Hopefully the Four Horsemen will be selling some test shots um, for Cosmic Legions like they have in the past. And then uh, I think uh, this character's name is Borga. Don't quote me on any of this. Uh, but it's a heavy gunner, obviously, that massive, heavy weapon, double barrel blaster. And you can see what I was talking about when I said that um, these can hold the weapons um, really tightly in very natural poses. And, you know, just imagine facing off against this lady um, with that incredibly powerful, heavy weapon. I love this 
sort of gun belt. So I, I guess with a gun belt, maybe it's um projectile weapon instead of a, a laser blaster. But um, who knows, maybe tiny missiles or... Um, love this backpack. Just these classic sci-fi lines. And then you have, you know, the little ponytail on the back and a female character with these powerful muscle thighs, this look, um, thin waist, broad shoulders. It just, you know, screams like kick ass, powerful, and um, a force to be reckoned with. I love the facial details on this and on the skull. Can't say enough about how great these are gonna be when they actually come out because um, Four Horsemen never disappoint uh, when it comes to this. And if they're this great at this stage uh, of the process, I just can't imagine how awesome they're gonna be when they're fully painted in hand. It's gonna be mind-blowingly cool. So, you know, Cosmic Legions, um, waiting, eagerly anticipating that. Um, they've got a lot of things that I love. I love these clear plexiglass helmets. I wish I had a, some more test sh shots to play with if I can track some down. Maybe I'll do another video. But, you know, as you wait uh, patiently for these to come out, as I wait, um, we can just watch these videos and dream about having these in the collection and... Um, pick up accessories or make dioramas, think about possible custom possibilities, and hopefully this will help you bide your time until we get the real thing actually in hand. So, um, as do it, signing out.